Are you shopping and buying too many clothes because you think they will make you happier, more fashionable, and more popular? I say owning less clothes can do all of that and more. Let me show you how. Do you really know why you buy new clothes for every season, every year? When I was a kid, I would witness my mother coming home from a day of shopping to look into her closet and realize she purchased the same exact item she already owned. I did not think much of it because I knew she could always take it back to the store. Now I wonder what state of mind would cause that to happen. I hope it was social programming and not unhappiness that caused this to happen as I remember my mother always being strong and happy. For me, I found that creating a minimalist uniform wardrobe works for me as it has brought me more happiness, saves me time and money almost every day. I'm going to show you the amazing life-changing benefits of only less clothes has to offer and they may not be what you think. We are bombarded with clever marketing campaigns every day and everywhere that reinforce the lie that more is better. More can also be too much. Marketing on the whole is not bad as long as it's not geared to get you to do what you should not be doing. Here are some of the quick benefits of owning fewer clothes. You will instantly have more money in your pocket or purse. You will have more time to do the things that add quality to your life. You can see what's in your closet and not have to go on a treasure hunt. You can actually organize your clothes and get rid of that clutter. Yeah, I see it. Don't try to hide it. There would be no stress getting dressed in the morning and you would save a ton of time. You will not have to feel guilty and hide some purchases. This happens with some people. You can go to the extremes like me and edit down to the absolute minimum items in your wardrobe or you combine to owning fewer clothes to declutter the excess in your closet, save more time and money on your way to feeling better about the situation. Here are a few tips that worked wonders for me on my journey to owning fewer clothes. Come face to face with the possible problem. Okay, you read this far, so I believe you would like to change the situation. Let's get started on the road to less stress, more money, more time, and happiness through owning less clothes. Wear fewer clothes. No, don't be an exhibitionist. Focus and follow me here. <laughs> this is an easy one. How much of that junk in your closet do you really wear anyway? You have your favorites, then you have just in case items and then there are items you just like. Stick with what you actually love and wear. Downsize, reduce, reuse, recycle, and restore. Yeah, do all of that and more. When you embrace this process, there are many ways you will save time and money. 
Don't just throw things away. Truly embrace the process. Some things you don't need and what is old to you may be new to someone else. What is not worth much and no longer has value to you may hold value to someone willing to pay for it. Also times, just the act of giving to someone in need will make you both happy. If you don't wear it, do you really need it? How many times do you have to move something you have not worn in years to get to your favorite items? How many items don't fit? You only need one. Not all of the time, but it works a lot of the time. How many winter coats do you need? Try only having one pair of sneakers, a black dress, black shoes, a belt, a swimsuit, and a backpack, and so on. Sometimes more than one of the same item is excess. Adjust accordingly and allow what your lifestyle can handle. It will be easier than you think. Just think of the time, money, and stress you save without buying multiple items you don't really need. The less decision fatigue you experience in the morning mixing, matching, managing a large wardrobe will be worth it alone. Stop impulse shopping. Don't shop because you are unhappy. Do not shop because your programming says to do so. Don't shop because the date on the calendar says you are supposed to. Break the shopping habit for 60 days. You have more than enough stuff to meet your needs for 90 days or more without shopping. Let's give 60 days a test run. Once you complete the 60 days, you will find you did not have the need to shop. The reward for your discipline is the impulse to shop will greatly diminish. Stick to your budget. You know you have a budget and sticking to it should be easier once you adopt these principles. If you are good, you will be under budget every month and reap the rewards. More time and money to spend with loved ones or on bills. Yuck. You choose. Make quality purchases. Only buy quality clothing that you really need. Don't allow your decision to only be about price and don't fall for sales. Don't get plugged back into the sales marketing trick. Buy only what you need and love even at a higher price. Sales are the devil. <laughs> Not really. They serve a purpose when and only when they fit into the overall only fewer clothes plan. Sales are designed to entice us to buy what we don't really want or need. Trust me, the large retailers do not really care about you and yours. That is not a bad thing, it's just business. Numbers on a spreadsheet. See what you own and love at a glance. The end result is you will be able to look into your closet and see what you own and love at a glance. In reality, we only wear a small percentage of what is stuffed in our closets regularly. After you downsize, reduce, reuse, recycle, and restore, you will be better off 
with no negative effects. You are what is inside, not what you wear. This is correct. You are what is inside, not what you wear. It's not like what you are is what you eat. This is different. You can look back at pictures from 10 years ago and be ashamed of what you were wearing. Go check your high school yearbook. <laughs> you can still look good at work with a small wardrobe of quality items that mix and match well together to create the illusion of a much larger wardrobe. Now go out there and dazzle them with your brilliance in your birthday suit. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to dazzle them. If you follow the 10 suggestions, or at least the spirit of them, you will have less stress, more time, and more money without much sacrifice. I believe that leads to more happiness. Once implementing your Owning Fewer Clothes program, you will love looking into your closets in the morning. You will be able to mix, match, and put together a dazzling outfit without even touching anything, just by looking at your favorite items that will be visible and readily available. What will you do with all that extra time in the morning? What will you do with all that extra time in your life you have gained by not thinking about shopping, internet shopping, window shopping, and actually shopping at the mall? How much money will you save? How much money will you spend this week and weekend on clothing? For most of us, we already own the clothing we will need to last for a year or more. You really don't need to shop for summer, winter, spring, and fall every year. You fared well last year and can use what you already own to fare well for years to come. Use that time and money saved making memories with friends and family doing something you all love. This all can be the benefit of owning less clothes. Thank you for stopping by. Like and bang on that subscribe button. Also, visit the description for bonus information.